Chemistry World was delighted to meet Cardiff University's Dr. Rebecca Mellon, the 2016 winner of the Clara M of R Award, who shared the secrets of a successful career in academia. We started by asking her about how she came to choose her PhD topic and supervisor. What was quite good about my position is that I was awarded a um, PhD scholarship from the university, so I could actually select um, who I wanted to work for uh, within Cambridge. So in the summer, um, I guess, well, the year before the PhD, I visited three different supervisors. So one in biological chemistry, one in organic chemistry, and one in inorganic chemistry. Okay. And then um, I guess I decided doing my master's thesis, because I did that in main group chemistry, that I wanted to continue doing main group chemistry. So that's how I got into um, working with Dominic Wright in Cambridge. I knew Dom because um, he worked on the same corridor as me when I was doing my master's thesis. So, and he had quite good sort of group dynamic. He got on very well with the students and he was in the lab helping the students. And so that's why I decided uh, to work for him because I thought he'd be a, well, a good mentor. Now, main group chemistry isn't something that everyone goes into. So what interested you about it? Um, I guess because it's unusual and there weren't so many people working on it that um, I found, well, during my master's thesis, I was doing sulfur nitrogen chemistry and making sulfur nitrogen chains. And you get quite uh, interesting and wonderful structures from doing that. And so I wanted to continue. And for people who are looking to do their PhDs now, would you recommend looking at uh, sort of areas that people aren't necessarily looking at, or would you go for whatever gap grabs you and whatever sort of drives you? Probably whatever, whatever area you're interested in and what drives you. Okay. So I guess most people will be interested from their undergraduate studies in a particular area and then maybe from their master's thesis or um, summer research. Now, while you were uh, doing your PhD, you had uh, a little strange encounter with your... Uh, with the supervisor that sent you off on a bit of an adventure. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, so in, uh, in my final year of my PhD, I was um, starting to write up and I went away on a summer holiday. And then when I got back from my summer holiday, he said to me, oh, Rebecca, by the way, I'm, I'm sending you to Germany. Okay. And so uh, <laughs> I was um, kind of a bit shocked by this because I was quite terrified about leaving the UK and going to a country where I didn't really speak the language. And um, so I went out there for Erasmus uh, for, for three months in Heidelberg. And um, yeah, it's probably one of the best experiences um, I've had. Okay. So it, it, I grew up a lot and I got to see how research works in a different um, environment in a different country. And when you finished your PhD, you immediately headed off to Canada. So why did you make the move to Canada? Because that's quite a jump. When I was choosing postdocs, I tried, um, I applied for several. So some to stay in the UK. Um, generally the problem there was that there wasn't any funding available for um, postdocs. Um, I also applied um, in Germany and in Switzerland and Canada and then ended up uh, choosing to go to Toronto. And would you recommend, uh, once people have done the PhD and are looking for postdocs, uh, going to a different country and trying out new things or do you think that, uh, that in retrospect maybe you should have stayed in the UK or anything like that? Or? I definitely think going abroad is, uh, is much better. And it was a very good experience to go abroad so I'm really glad that I did it. Now after all that happened, uh, off to Cardiff then uh, to start your own group. How was that from taking the step from postdoc to uh, leading a group? So that was quite a big step, I think. Um, it's very different going from a postdoc where you're sort of purely doing research and writing papers and then going, uh, moving into um, academia. And I guess the biggest uh, challenge for me was um, time management because I've got to, do the, got to do the research and I still try to get into the lab and uh, work with the students and get them going on projects. But then I've also got to write grants and papers and do the teaching on the side as well. So. Um, I think time management has been the biggest thing that I've needed to learn. And if, if you had any one piece of advice for, for someone who's just starting out in their career and wants to follow a similar career path, what would you recommend doing? Um, hmm, difficult question. I guess um, don't be um, afraid. I guess I had quite a lot of, I was quite apprehensive about sort of going to my post, going abroad to do a postdoc and uh, applying for jobs and stuff and just uh, be confident and go for it. Mm -hmm.